Hey guys, Metal Jesus here. And today I wanna do an unboxing of a, well, a box that was sent to me from Rhino Records slash Warner Brothers Music. I got an email while I was traveling in Japan and it was basically from an assistant. Her name is Jenny. Now I'm blocking out some of the last names here because I, I don't know if they wanted me to share everything with you guys, but uh, basically they contacted me saying, hey, her boss, uh, John, at, at the record label, is a big fan of my YouTube channel and wanted to send me a care package. And they, uh, they asked me if I was familiar with their record label, which of course I am. Rhino Records has been releasing, frankly, great stuff for many, many years now. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh, uh, yeah, sure, this would be awesome. So let's go ahead and open this up. And man, it is a big box. And I have no idea what's actually in here. They just asked me what kind of music I typically like. And I said, you know, hard rock and heavy metal. And that was pretty much it. So right on the top, you see that they've thrown in some stickers. Looks like uh, some Rhino stickers, as well as some buttons here. Led Zeppelin buttons, which I assume these are some sort of re-release, which is pretty cool. Now on the top here, I'm seeing a box set for one of White Snake's classic albums called Slide It In. White Snake has been re-releasing, or I should say David Coverdale, the lead singer and leader of White Snake, has been re-releasing some of their classic albums in these massive box sets. And so you see this here, this is a six CD box set of uh, Slide It In. And I don't have any of these yet, so this is pretty cool. So. It's got a booklet here, which I haven't read this obviously yet, but it looks like it's the making of, probably behind the scenes of this classic album. Looking forward to that. And then we start digging in here. Looks like there is a, what is that? Looks like a, maybe the band? <laughs> okay, and I've heard about this. So they, in each one of these, they also include the cover art as a full-size poster. That's pretty cool. And then we dig into the meat of this. And these are just, I mean, they're almost overkill, but they're so cool. So, so basically this album went through a number of different versions because it was originally released in the UK. And then when they brought it over to the United States, they did a remix of it. And they also, I believe, changed the order of the songs. And so what you're seeing here is all of the original releases, remixes, plus demos, um, looks like there's like a live version of it. And then at the very end here are all the music videos. Slide It In is one of my favorite White Snake albums. And so that is, that's really cool to have. Digging a little bit deeper, we see some Rhino record stickers as well as some Grateful Dead stickers. That's cool. Here is some Led Zeppelin stickers. I didn't realize that they actually had the Led Zeppelin catalog. That's pretty cool. And then here is the uh, the 35th anniversary edition of Slide It In. It's a two LP. Now I actually have the original version of this, but I didn't have this uh, this new version. So this is pretty cool. Um, I am a huge White Snake fan, especially Slide It In and then the 1987 album, Twisted Sister, live at the Marquee in 1983. Huh. I actually don't have a lot of Twisted Sister, but. Early Twisted Sister is super energetic, so I'm actually curious to check this out. This is kind of cool, huh? I uh, recently watched the documentary on Twisted Sister and had a whole new appreciation for the band. Ooh, this is cool. All right, Pantera, Far Beyond Bootleg, live from Donington, 1994. Huh, that's cool, yeah. You know, I actually don't think I've listened to much live Pantera. So this is gonna be new to me. I actually saw Pantera during uh, one of the Ozfests, which was awesome. Here we have another White Snake album. This is another one I don't own. This is Unzipped. And I think, yeah, it looks like it says it's acoustic versions of, I assume, all of their classic songs. So interesting, yeah. Didn't own this, so that's cool. Here we go, some Black Sabbath, the ultimate collection. And this box set is, or this release is pretty heavy. I've seen this in stores and I know it's, you know, kind of like what it says, it's the ultimate uh, best of Black Sabbath. 
And uh, wow, yeah, it looks like it's four LPs. That's why it's so heavy. And probably in 180 gram vinyl, although I haven't opened it yet. And then here is another classic best of. I didn't realize that they put this out on vinyl again. That's cool for Rocktober. We sold our soul for rock and roll. This is actually the first album I ever got from Black Sabbath back in high school. And I didn't own the vinyl for that, so that's pretty cool. And then check this out. This is so weird. Hard Rock Heretics. And it looks like it's a, it looks like one of those KTEL best of albums you'd get in the 80s. So there's a bunch of uh, hair metal bands on here. Again, for Rocktober. I'm not sure what that is. It must be a series of releases that uh, Warner Brothers or Rhino, Rec uh, Rhino Records did. But this is a, a bunch of good songs in here. That's cool. And I have no idea what this is, but it looks like, okay, so it's Iron Butterfly in an album called Heavy. I have not listened to much Iron Butterfly at all, but I gotta say that uh, that cover is pretty epic. But, you know, occasionally I do go back to some of these really old uh, bands, and I know a lot of people consider Iron Butterfly to be one of the early pioneers of heavy rock, so I'll definitely check that out. And then down at the bottom here, it looks like we got a Dio album, which is, uh, which is really heavy. Okay, so Dream Evil, that's cool. Looks like it's on green vinyl. Okay, and then yeah, I, I didn't realize that there was actually two records stuck together. Uh, okay, and then here's another Dio album that I didn't own, Strange Highways. Okay, so I've heard of Strange Highways. I think that's the one that um, the bass player for Dokken was on. So these are two Dio albums that I did not own in my collection. That's actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know why I never got into Dio as a kid, but I'm starting to really appreciate it today and uh, dig deeper into his catalog. It's funny because I didn't own any of these vinyl records, so it's actually really cool that they sent these to me. Oh, it looks like this one's purple vinyl. Huh. Yeah, so this really complements my vinyl record collection quite a bit. And then at the bottom here, it looks like we got a White Snake al uh, album, White Snake T-shirt. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Love me some White Snake. Now this is a large T-shirt, so if I tried to put this on, it would probably uh, hulk out. <laughs> but it's cool. It's for the uh, 35th anniversary of Slide It In. Again, another, another great album. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to uh, probably donate this one, maybe to uh, Andrew from Rockheart Clothing. I bet he's probably a classic Whitesnake fan. A Rhino Records tote bag made from cloth, very cool. Some random buttons that looks like they uh, they shook out to the bottom. And then at the bottom here is a note. It looks like it's handwritten, okay, yeah. Handwritten note from Jenny, so that's very cool. Well, just a huge shout out and thank you to Jenny and John from Rhino Records. Uh, this was such a nice surprise, so cool. It's funny how well you know me because I didn't own any of these albums and uh, this is gonna be really cool. Um, and if you guys haven't checked out Rhino Records, follow their YouTube channel because they actually do some really interesting stuff on here. They release interviews with original artists, plus they'll, uh, they show on their YouTube channel some of the special edition vinyls that they're releasing, so you get to see and hear them uh, before they actually hit store shelves. It's uh, it, I've actually been subscribed to their channel years before I actually got this in the mail, so that was really, really cool. All right, guys, love to know what you think down in the comments below, and as always, I wanna thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing, and take care.